This is a video demonstration for a Microsoft Publisher newsletter project. Once you have Publisher open, you need to pick a newsletter template. And this is the main Publisher screen here. There's some featured options, and then there's also some built-in options. And if you don't see newsletter up here, you, you can either search for online newsletter templates or go to built-in and then go down to newsletters and there's lots of different templates here so you have um, the option of going with whatever you want I'm just going to pick the tip title option you can pick a different one if you would like you also have the option of changing the template at any time so if this is something you don't want to use later uh, you can go to page design and change the template um, later to something else. Uh, but this is the template uh, that I'm going to use. Once you have your template there, you want to get down to two pages. And right now, you can see over here I have four. Okay, I want to get get it down to two. So I'm going to delete the last page. I'm also going to delete the third page, and that would be the right page. So I'm going to pick right page only. So now I'm down to two pages. Next thing I'm going to do is uh, delete all of the article text. And the article text is generic text. If you look at it, it doesn't really have a meaning. It just talks about a generic story. Um, you're going to get rid of all that because you're going to end up putting your own stories in there. So the easiest way to delete that text is just to click on it. It all gets selected at once because most people don't leave that in there. And now I have just empty text boxes. So you're going to delete the article text and the text boxes. And you can either just click on those and hit delete, or you can right click on them and hit cut. Okay, either way, you want to get rid of the text boxes. That's the first page. This is the second page I'm going to use. So, same thing, I want to get rid of all of that text and those text boxes. Okay, so now I just have some images there. I um, also want to get rid of spe special points of interest. So, I'm going to delete that. You do not want to get rid of your index because you are going to need an index and those are difficult to recreate. Next thing you're going to do is do some revisions on this front page. Don't really need uh, this business name here. And this is going to kind of depend on which template you chose. You may have more of this stuff that you have to get rid of or less depending on what you chose. Business name we don't need. Um, as far as inside this issue, this is your index. There are seven uh, stories here, and I only need six, so you're going to get rid of one. And you can't just highlight and backspace. It does not work that way with tables. Um, so what you need to do is highlight what you want to delete, uh, go to layout here, and then go to delete. And you want to obviously delete the row, because the rows are what go across. And now I have six, which is what I want. Um, you need to modify the volume. You need to make sure there's a volume and a date. Volume one, issue one, that's fine. If you want to change it to a different number, that's fine too. The newsletter date, doesn't really matter which date this is going to be. Just pick a date. It can be your favorite day, your birthday, it doesn't matter. Um, then you're going to also um, change or modify the title. And this specific title uh, for this newsletter, the newsletter doing is going to be the Redskin Times. And in this scenario, um, whichever title you get, obviously that's going to depend on your template as well. Um, but looking at this, I'm obviously not going to leave it green, red, and blue with the snowman on there because that's not really um, the look we're going for. So I'm going to change all these boxes to black. Um, if you have stuff that's grouped together, if you look up here, um, there's a group and an ungroup. And basically I want to ungroup these. I want to be able to pull them apart. Okay, if you want to group stuff back together ever, um, basically you would just kind of drag a box over the stuff and say group, and then that would all be stuck together again. But I want to ungrouped. Um, don't need that snowman. Um, and then these I'm going to change black, and I'm also going to group them back together. So I'm going to group these, and then I'm going to fill them black. And then I'm going to put those back over here. And that's going to be my title. And the next thing I'm going to do is uh, open up the six articles and then go ahead and paste them in here. It's up to you what you want to do with the pictures. 
and captions and stuff that are lying around. If you want to drag them off for now, um, you can. You will end up using them later, but you're not going to need them um, this second. So I'm just going to pull them off to the side for now. And I have six articles I have to insert. So to insert an article, um, I'm looking at them in a word right now. So I'm going to basically copy the first article and then I'm going to paste it in here. And before I paste it, I do want to insert an actual text box because that will allow me to put it to the text exactly where I want it. Okay, so I already copied it, so now I'm just going to paste. And there is the text for the first article. Now that's not how we're going to leave it, but I'm just going to insert it for now. And then later on, I will modify it. Okay, same thing here with the bottom. I need the second article. I'm going to copy it and then paste it over here. Okay, you're not, I'm not changing the font size or the type or anything like that. I'm simply um, inserting text boxes and then taking the actual article and putting it over there. Now the, the kind of the order um, and the format is up to you. You do want the very first article to be here because this is going to be the main article. It's the longest one. It's the intro article. But other than that, if you want to change the order of these, um, that's fine. This is the fourth article. And the fifth will go, I'll just put it down here for now. And then I will have one more article, which will be six. If you make your text box too small, too, I should sh show this really quick. If it's too small for the text and you paste that in there, um, it won't be displayed all the way. Notice the dots over here. That just means it's not all showing. And so to make it all showing, you got to stretch it out. Okay, now it is all there. Um, and I got a sixth one too. And you can see I don't really have room for a sixth one. So I'll just have to kind of make room um, later. So I'm just going to insert the text box here for now and put the sixth article in. Once I format it up, um, it should fit in here. Okay, so there's my six articles.